Today we're going to make some jellyfish sculptures inspired by artist Rick Satava. So you will get your coffee filter back that we used on an earlier project. And everyone will have some kind of dome shaped object. So it could be one of these, it might be a bowl. And we will all have some bottle glue or you'll share with your partner. What you need to do is first figure out which way is up on your coffee filter. So I've written everyone's name on the edge, so you need to find your name. This will be the top. <laughs> and on your little dome, you're going to take your glue and close to the bottom edge, make a line of glue. And you can't set it down on the table while you're spinning it around. <laughs> So I put a line of glue all the way around. Now here's my coffee filter. I'm going to make sure my name is still on the top. And I'm going to try to find the middle and set it down. And then squish. And I'm trying to squeeze it tight and make sure it's touching the glue. So this will be the top part of our jellyfish. And yes, you might get a little bit sticky when you do this. So I'm making sure I'm pressing down where I know the glue was. Then we turn it over. So jellyfish have tentacles that hang down. So we need to make some tentacles. We will use a different kind of glue to attach our tentacles and special glue brushes. And we will have pans full of some crepe paper. So you need four or five pieces of crepe paper. You choose what colors you would like. I chose this color because it matches my coffee filter. And you need to stack them up as neatly as possible. So if you have to, you can lay them down one at a time to try to stack them up in a nice, neat little pile. Okay, they're all stacked. Now here's the hard part. We're going to try to make these a little skinnier part way. So going to make sure they're all getting held together or if you have to keep it on the table and just hold one end. I'm going to take my scissors and cut up the paper. And if it's not a totally straight line, that's okay. But we stop before we get to the end. So this gives us some skinnier tentacles. All right, back to our jellyfish shape. I'm going to take some of this glue, which is really watery, get some on my brush, and I'm going to brush it around the middle. If you have this dome, then you're making kind of a donut shape. If you have a bowl, then you can go ahead and do the whole middle if you want. We don't need to go up the sides. Just the middle. All right, here's the crepe paper. So here's where it's still connected. This is the part that's going in the glue. I'm going to press down gently and pick up another one and stick it in the glue. Press down gently. If I add a little more glue on here, I can put on my fifth one. Otherwise, four might be plenty. All right, now our little jellyfish friend needs to sit like this and dry. 